smart dress, shift, chemise, balloon, tutu dress, kimono. There are dozens of types of dresses, but how can we understand them? What's the difference between evening dress and cocktail dress? What should a woman's wardrobe contain? And what is the secret of the popularity of the little black dress? A woman in a dress is always attractive. Even the simplest cut makes the female figure slim and elegant. What dresses should you pay attention to? Do you know what a smock dress is? Everything is not so difficult. It's a dress with ruffles. This dress is suitable for tall women and, of course, for the warm season. A smock dress is perfect for romantic dates. The shift dress was produced in America in the 1950s. Since then, the model has changed a lot, but one thing remains unchanged. The shift dress is suitable for any kind of figure. Designers often use natural fabrics, knitwear, wool, because this dress is made for active girls, for whom comfort is important. Another common dress is the chemise. It comes from the Middle Ages. Back then it was a loose shirt worn underneath the main dress. And it was only in the 20th century that Cristobal Balenciaga demonstrated models in a free dress to the knees. The chemise dress is produced with both long and short sleeves. You won't find a more comfortable dress. One type of outfit that's just perfect for parties is the tutu dress. The bottom of this outfit is sewn from 10 to 15 layers of tulle. The top usually wraps around the figure. In the early 80s, the queen of pop music Madonna took a chance and demonstrated the tutu dress in a broad and victorious way. Within a few years, actress Sarah Jessica Parker had turned the tutu into an everyday outfit and a very original one. The tutu is perfect for a party at a club, but remember, it won't suit everyone, but if you have long perfect legs, then buy a tutu dress. Balenciaga produced another popular dress, the balloon dress. He cut the length of the lining in the lower part of the skirt, which gave it volume. The top of the skirt is assembled or folded, and then some decor is added. This dress perfectly hides any flaws in a woman's figure. The kimono is an unusual but popular type of dress. The national dress of Japanese women became the base for a kimono dress. Natural fabrics are used in the main when sewing such dresses, quite often silk. The main thing is the free cut, no buttons. One nice detail is that the kimono fits any figure. There are many more types of dresses, shirts, cases, tunics, and all are undoubtedly beautiful. The more dresses there are in a woman's wardrobe, the better. A dress is a magical clothing. The little ritual of wearing a dress every day is the basis for a woman's happiness and helps a woman to remember who she is and how she feels. A woman treats herself with love and shows to others that she is beautiful. A dress disciplines and helps to inspire a woman. It should be noted that a dress is an integral component of many types of dress code, particularly white tie and black tie. 
The dress code is usually written in the invitation, so it's very easy for a woman to understand which dress she should wear. A black tie dress code doesn't necessarily imply black. For a man it should be a black tail coat, a black tie, but for a woman it can be any dress of any color, and the main thing is that it's long and no higher than the ankle. Modern women not only work or stay at home, they need elegant dresses. Evening and cocktail dresses will help. What's the difference? First, let's deal with the cocktail look. As a rule, it's a shortened dress, suitable for both official and festive events. This outfit was first seen in America in the 20s. When cocktail parties came into fashion, it was the jazz era. The length of such a dress is always plus or minus knee-deep. The fabrics chosen for cocktail dresses are exquisite. Velvet, silk, satin. But there's complete freedom in colors. Evening and cocktail dresses differ in purpose and dress code. If we're planning to have a party after 7 p.m., then we put on a shorter cocktail dress. If you still need an evening outfit, then remember about the length. Give preference to velvet, chiffon or silk. Stylists recommend wearing coats or using capes and scarves. A dress is a mandatory outfit in a woman's wardrobe, as it will emphasize femininity and help to create an effective image. Ukrainian designer Yevhenia Frankivska knows a lot about good dresses. Dresses by Frankivska will always have a subtext. You know, Donna Karan once said, if a dress is wrinkled, then it is not a dress for me. I will paraphrase a little, but then it will become my phrase. If a dress can be worn once, then for me it isn't a dress. You will always look like a queen in a dress. Aristocracy is the key in my style. I really like to observe the aristocracy because I believe that you know how to describe an aristocrat. A rich aristocrat will never be different from a poor aristocrat. Yevhenia Frankivska will sue an outfit for Meghan Markle. This young woman deserves admiration. It's possible to know the whole world through six handshakes. There are only two handshakes to get to Megan. My relative was present at her wedding. She was not just there, she was among those invited. So I decided to write a letter to the Duchess of Sussex that I would like to ask permission as a Ukrainian designer to produce an outfit for her of my own design and I got a reply. Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, does not yet know about the existence of the dress named in her honor, while Ukrainian girls can already enjoy it. I was inspired by this autumn collection, namely Meghan Markle. And here is one of the dresses, which has a very aristocratic look with its promise. It seems to be a simple dress, but this dress won't leave the wardrobe even if she puts on a bit of weight, because she won't part with this dress, it'll wait for her to lose some weight. I give you my guarantee on this dress, believe me. Every lady knows about the need to have a little black dress in her wardrobe. The invention of Coco Chanel in 1926 is still the most fashionable and popular item. This dress is suitable for going out to a restaurant, theater, a date or just a business meeting. Modern stylists agree on the importance of the little black dress, but have their own ideas. As for the little black dress, of course, it should be in the wardrobe of every woman. But it does not have to be only black and not necessarily small, purple or wine or a shade of green. You'll also need to add a few more different types of dress. Such dresses are always comfortable to wear and they always flatter the figure.
I always mention the top five silhouettes of dresses that a woman should have. The first is the little black dress. The midi is elegant. Of course, it will be the basis for many images that can be diluted by using accessories or bright belts and shoes. And a woman should also have at least one red dress. Of course, a woman should have a dress for special events. Most often it can be a light, elegant dress. Everyday dresses as well, which should suit the type of figure. In order to fill your wardrobe with the right kind of dresses, have a think about the places you visit, what kind of shoes you have, whether you're interested in accessories and your preference, comfort or spectacular female silhouette. It is worth remembering the main piece of advice given by stylists and designers. Choose a dress according to your figure. Choose an outfit to match the color of your hair, eyes and face color, and also remember that you should buy a dress that sits perfectly on you. Your image will be perfect if you listen not only to the advice of stylists, but to your own feelings. Talking to the perfect female look, almost all designers find it difficult to answer. And if they do, then the meaning usually lies not just in the dress. I will consider a perfectly dressed girl to be one who appropriately and correctly chooses her style, managed to mix everything up, and people accept the way she looks. The perfect woman look is when she looks at herself in the mirror and her eyes shine, and at the same time she can be wearing absolutely anything. Hubert de Gemanchi once gave an excellent reply to dresses. The dress should follow the female body and not the shape of the body fit into the outlines of the dress. Nevertheless, what does the 2019 season have in store for us? What unusual items await lovers of dresses? The main highlight of the future season is simplicity. World designers are once again proposing to plunge into minimalism while not forgetting about feminine shapes and natural colors. As always, national ornaments of completely different nations will be in fashion, including the trend towards the Ukrainian print. Dresses with optical illusions and sensational 3D volume will also take root, and the trend towards logomania remains strong. Due to the fact that geometric patterns will be very popular on dresses in 2019, you can get polka-dotted dresses, circles and ovals, all of these are back in fashion. Floral print is also worthy of your attention. Preference will be given this season to tapestry flowers, though ordinary female roses will remain in fashion too. As for the cut, the fashion of a sleeveless dress will return in 2019. Although it does not quite suit girls with broad shoulders, you should pay attention to the same trend with optical illusions. You can easily choose a dress that visually reduces the shoulders. But no matter what fashion trends await us next season, the fact is that the dress is always in fashion. A less than perfect figure, a bad mood, an overly high or low heel, a dress will cover up all these things. And if you are thinking about creating a new base for your wardrobe, then fill it with dresses. Different colors and shades, cuts and lengths, but the main thing is that your outfits fit you and underline your style and uniqueness. For many centuries, the dress remained the only thing in a woman's wardrobe, which has always remained in fashion. Only the dress gives a woman true beauty and self-confidence.